So if you were to ever come over to my place, one of the first things you would see is my sunglasses collection. I have about 30 pairs of sunglasses sitting on the wall just next to my front door, so I can always quickly grab something on my way out. Now my sunglasses aren't just nilly willy any pairs of sunglasses. These all are special to me, are very unique, and a lot of these different brands, different styles, there's some unique things here I bet you've never seen. So let's unbox some of these, clean up the lenses, and let's take a look. Hey, what's up? Dr. Joseph Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. And today's video is pretty special. I get to show off some of my sunglasses collection here. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that being an eye doctor, I'm very passionate about protecting the eyes and taking good care of them. And sunglasses plays a huge role in that, mainly because of UV light protection. But I myself have been light sensitive since I was a kid. Maybe it's the blue eyes. Not really sure about that. I've never seen a legit study confirming that blue eyes are more light sensitive. But I just appreciate good quality sunglasses, especially if there's something unique about them. So let's dive into it. Now the first pair I want to share with you guys is funny enough, not like the most expensive or anything. In fact, these are quite affordable, but these are probably the number one pair of sunglasses I get the most attention from. Like people will stop me when I'm going into the gym to ask me, whoa, dude, what's up with your sunglasses? These are the world's first matte reflective sunglasses. This company from the Netherlands called Mariner figured out some way to make a reflective mirror on the front surface of the lens, but able to make it a matte finish. So it really just looks wicked cool. What's nice is that not only is the front surface that matte finish, but it doesn't affect the clarity of the lenses looking out through it. And because of the matte finish and nobody can see the reflections off of it, I love using it for social media. So if I'm doing an Instagram story or something like that, no one can see the phone or the camera I'm using to take that video. So yeah, these are probably one of the coolest pairs of sunglasses I own and if you ever look them up they're actually pretty affordable there's like 50 60 euro or something like that but they are a newer company so you may have to act fast before that price goes up all right since we're talking about cool unique ones this pair here oh I have to wash this one Nothing like the pet peeve of having dirty sunglasses lenses. All right, this pair of sunglasses I've actually mentioned in a few of my videos, but these ones are from a company called William Painter and they call this the hook because on the temple, if you look at it, it's a bottle opener. I guess they own a patent on this, but they made the temples out of pure titanium, which makes them exceptionally strong. And then that allows it as kind of a party trick. If you have a bottle of beer or a soda or something, you can just snap the top right off, which does in fact work. And is again, just kind of a cool party trick. And outside of just having the cool temples of the frames, the lenses are actually fairly good quality. I believe they're made out of nylon, which is a very light material. It's harder to scratch, but it has good otherwise good optical quality, good polarized lenses in it. And uh, I also liked kind of the red mirror finish. All right, next up are probably two pairs I have from a company called Randolph Engineering. Now I've also mentioned Randolph in several other videos, mainly because uh, I think they're one of the best companies and brands out there making sunglasses. Do expect if you're gonna pick up a pair of Randolph's, you're gonna be paying a higher ticket price, uh, somewhere in the higher 290, 300 plus range. But if you're somebody who's serious about getting good quality lenses, good sunglasses, you're gonna buy a pair that you're gonna love and take care of for many years, uh, it's worth the investment. This happens to be my kind of favorite holy grail pair that I own. This is their Randolph aviator style frame with AGX green lenses. And I love the color of green because it kind of enhances the contrast a little bit when you're outside. And then on top of that, they have a cobalt blue finish. So if you look them up, this is part of their cobalt line. But one of the reasons I love Randolph Engineering is because if you check out their website or if you find a store that sells them, you can customize the specific lens material materials, you can customize if you want them polarized or not. And the lenses are just made with excellent quality and detail, even back to the anti-reflective coating on the back surface of the lenses. And one of the best things about this specific pair is that I was able to get the lenses made of glass, which has one of the highest properties of optical clarity that you can get. And it's very hard to scratch. And yeah, they're comfortable and I love them. Plus, aviator styles look cool. 
basically make everybody look badass. I also have this other pair from Randolph Engineering that I love. These ones have kind of this cool, kind of cotton candy reflection off the front surface. It's kind of bluish pink. And then the lenses themselves are amber gradient lenses. And that means that the top of the lens is a little darker amber color, and then toward the bottom, they're a little bit more clear, which can be really helpful if you're coming in and out of doors all the time, because then you can just look through the bottom of the lens and see more clearly. And also love that I was able to get them into a round frame because uh, just with the kind of the cool colors and everything, it just makes me look and feel like a rock star of some kind. Otherwise, Randolph Engineering are probably one of my favorite brands of all time. Oh yeah, let's talk about these ones. So these ones are really special to me. Now, not only is the frame made of a natural wood here on the front, and I just love the grain because you can feel it, but then the temples of the frame are made with buffalo horns. So if you didn't know, a previous eye clinic I used to work at was in the town of Buffalo, Minnesota, and so I ended up getting these when I was there, and I just loved it because again, they had buffalo horn in the glasses. And this is a frame by the name of Roger Ruger, which is from Austria. But just having handmade materials, something that is kind of one of a kind, unique, it was just something I really loved and gravitated toward me. Plus, these have a sentimental value, being that they are the first prescription pair of sunglasses that I ever wrote for myself. So yeah, the prescription is like six or eight years old, and I did do that terrible thing where a doctor prescribed something for themselves. Yeah, this is my prescription. But I think it's good to also highlight to people that you don't just have to get a, any other brand that specifically makes sunglasses. You can go to an eye doctor's clinic and ask specifically to have your prescription put into any particular frame to make sunglasses. So yeah, super cool pair. Okay, these ones are the new Ray-Ban Story sunglasses. So I recently did a review going more in depth about all the little nitty gritty about the Ray-Ban Stories. Uh, if you haven't heard about them before, these are probably the leading contender for the best smart glasses out right now. They do have cameras built into the front of the frame, both on the right and left temple sides. And then they do have built-in speakers and they wirelessly connect to your phone so that you can record little videos, take pictures, listen to your headphones. Now, if you check out that review video, I definitely don't recommend them for everybody, but if you are somebody who loves to go biking like myself, if you're somebody who likes to go skateboarding, maybe you're a fisherman and you wanna have like a heads up video recording of you landing that fish, then these do have that capability. But I did vouch for like the Facebook or Meta blue color, uh, including the blue lenses. It's a little bit more expensive, but I figured, you know what, this might be one of a time thing. So I grabbed myself a pair and yeah, they're pretty cool. All right, so this pair of sunglasses here is probably what I would recommend for anybody who's very light sensitive, drives a lot, and is bothered by glare, and really just wants to see their best while they're driving. And these sunglasses come from a company called Maui Gym. Now, you can find Maui Gyms online, but you can also find them in a lot of eye clinics because they are of higher quality, and just eye clinics always wanna carry something in that higher end range for people who really want a good pair of sunglasses. Now, what I love about this pair is that they do have a nice matte black frame, so shout out to MKBHD, and then the temples have a nice grip on them. So if you're wearing them on the water, looking down toward the ocean, they're less likely to slide off your ears and into the water. Same thing for the nose piece. There are little grips there, again, so they don't slide down your nose. Now the real magic is in their lenses. Maui Jim does have a patent on their polarization technology or the filters in their lenses. I don't know exactly how they're better than other companies, but it, it does seem to work really good if you're on the water. Of course, the back side of the lenses have anti-reflective coating, but what's really special about these ones, and if again, if you're gonna get Maui Jim's, uh, I recommend that you look into getting a special lens that they have, which is a bi-gradient lens. What a bi-gradient lens is, is that there's a gradient from the top of the lens to about the top one third of the lens, and then there's another gradient from the bottom of the lens to about that two thirds of the lens. And that leaves this nice strip across your entire vision of just kind of a neutral gray, whatever the color of the sunglasses are. But having this gradient come from top and bottom kind of gives the same sensation that you are getting when you squint all the time. So I find when I'm driving and I'm wearing these, it just relaxes my eyelids, my face. So I just don't feel like I have to squint to kind of negate or cut out any of that extra glare or light. 
Otherwise, other than Randolph, these are probably one of my more expensive um, favorite pairs that I like to take care of. Now, I'm really bummed. I can't find this one pair of sunglasses that I have. I really want to show you guys because this is super cool and unique. It's from a company based out of the UK who has found a way to make sunglasses out of denim jeans. They basically just take old jeans and then stamp them in the shape of sunglasses and somehow cure them either with glue and metal. And yeah, you can have denim jean sunglasses. I've actually had two different pairs of these. I've given one away to a friend and the newest pair, I, I'm just bummed I've misplaced them. But if you're someone who loves to wear denim jeans or just want something cool, unique that stands out, or you just like recycling and just love all that, then check out in the description below. I'll put links to the most of it brand so you can check it out. So hey, thanks for hanging out and I hope this video helped you out in some way. If you were able to find a cool pair of sunglasses that you can find for yourself or buy for a friend or a family member. And hey, perhaps you have a really cool brand of sunglasses that you love. Let me know in the comment section if there's something that I should probably pick up or maybe do a review on. And if you want to know more about the health benefits of wearing sunglasses, then definitely check out my other video of why I'm always wearing them. Yeah, you can learn a lot of cool stuff from that video. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Otherwise, keep an eye on it, and we'll see you soon.